BFG grenade test, 12 gauge load, 6725. Wow. Just so you know, uh, 6725, it has mashed the shell in there. Um, I'm having a heck of a time trying to even get the shell out of this. Um, I'm afraid to try the other ones. Second grenade test, 6725. Jeez. The smoke is still clearing here, but I just wanted to show you the shell. You can, I don't know if, it's, if you can see it inside there. It's uh, mushed in there pretty good all the way up, filling the holes. The shell itself, I had to push out the primer to get it out. It uh, expanded quite a bit and into the holes. The actual, if you notice, the actual explosion went out the hole here. So when you were blowing it up, it's lining up like that going out the hole. There's enough expansion, but it goes out through this hole. They work at the point, uh, the 6725. Uh, I'm afraid to use the uh, higher loads. Uh, I might end up blowing something up and I with shrapnel and I don't want to do that. So, good test. Follow up. I was able to, this is the original one, and here is the last one I put in. I was able to drive a screwdriver through the holes and just work it out with a, with a pair of pliers. The uh, exhaust is coming out the four holes in the grenade through the shell. Uh, expanding these out so that they don't <laughs> let it come out. You can see these ends on here actually go into the grenade holes and makes it a, almost impossible to uh, get them out. Good, good uh, load though, the smoke and everything like that was really good.